I mean, it's definitely demographics. It is an inexorable, powerful trend. The over 85s are the fastest growing segment of the U.S. population. That's a cohort that uses skilled nursing. It uses our senior housing communities from coast to coast. And then, of course, the baby boomers, 79 million of us first group turning Medicare eligible last year. And there, we see our medical office building and outpatient setting really serving that population. I, I think, uh, again, the stepping off point is that there will be some coming together in Washington and uh, some agreement on you know, the fiscal cliff and some, some moderation of the entitlement uh, situation and, and, and the deficits. Um, but I think with that, I, I believe the, the operators in the healthcare space that are our partners uh, will have a lot of consolidation activity. And as a derivative of that, real estate portfolios will fall out of that activity, which will then present themselves for the healthcare REITs to, to, to take a look at. It's going to be reimbursement and uh, level or where you're going to get the care, whether you're going to get the care at the assisted living area. Assisted livings are keeping residents a little longer, so they're a little um, more frail in the, uh, in the homes. And then when do they move to uh, skilled nursing or actually when are they discharged from hospitals? So I think, I think the thing is really the level of care and where you're going to be uh, receiving that care.